uh, I'm going to go ahead and cat out, or at least list out the files I've prepared for us. And I see there's just two here. All right, so let's start by looking at our host file. Our host file contains our inventory or what we want to connect to. And this one's real simple. It's just the IP addresses of two switches. They're Arista switches, very similar, almost identical to Cisco switches. Um, let's go ahead and see that they're actually there. I'm going to try SSHing as an admin over to 172.16.2.10. And my super secret password, indeed, there's um, switch number one. Exit out of him. And I can SSH into admin at 172.16.2.20 this time. Alt to three. And okay, there's my uh, switch number two. I'm actually in as well. So that works. I have a pathway to get to my targets. Next, we want to look at, remember I said we could talk all day about the way we make connections. Well, that inventory is what we want to go connect to. How we make the connection, how we, what, what we want to do to that switch once we're there, that's a question of the playbook. And that can get really detailed. In fact, in a production network, it will be very detailed, be fairly complex. The one we're going to look at is very straightforward because this is new to us. We're just trying to get started and wrap our brains around what Ansible can do. Uh, so I thought, well, what could be easier than just trying to change a banner? Let's just try to change a login message. We just tried to SSH both those switches. Didn't tell us very much. It wasn't very verbose. Let's try to change that. So let's do this line by line. We're going to start up at the top. And we see that on a play level, we've named our play. It's called My Arista Playbook. And more accurately, it may be my Arista to play, but we said playbook. That's great. The hosts that we're going to configure in this play are all of them. And what we mean is whatever inventory we describe, everything in the inventory should be a target for us. Gather facts, false. Gather facts is a module called the Ansible setup module that always runs by default at the beginning of your your plays. It depends on Python being on a target system. So almost universally, we could say, if you're connecting to an L2, L3 device, I mean, whatever it might be, um, Cisco probably is going to let you put Python on there. Arista isn't going to let you put Python, HP, Dell, whoever your um, provider is or whatever the network gear Juniper. You're not going to have Python there. So we got to set gather facts to false or the playbook just, it fails before it can even really get started. Our variables, you're going to see lots of information concerning Ansible connections, um, the, the actual OS I'm going to, um, information about become and, and is, is questions about do you want to, to become an admin once you're there, uh, pass. Uh, there's some sensitive information in here as well. The connection information, I need you to go over to the Ansible's docs page. You're going to investigate. They have a section just on networking. And it'll tell you what to fill in here for, say, Juniper devices, what to fill in here for, say, Cisco or Arista or whoever you're working with. They have lots of examples, so that's where that comes from. If you're saying, Zach, whoa, 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 admin and Ulta 3, I know your credentials. Uh, we wouldn't do this in production, obviously. There's a product called Ansible Tower. If you take one of my classes, we got lots of labs on Tower. We'll learn it inside and out. In fact, maybe we'll make a video on it coming up. Uh, but that is basically a, a fancy encryption. It's not even that fancy. It's an encryption tool. So you're, you, you, you can put your credentials into a file and, and encrypt them up and um, you can sleep easier at night knowing that you don't have clear text credentials inside your playbooks. Uh, the task is the section about what I want to do. So down in the task section, I have a single module. That module is called EOS Banner. 
So more than likely, I mean, I don't have this written in stone, but I'm willing to bet Arista said, oh boy, there is a really hot product out there called Ansible. It is in our best interest to write some modules that can configure our gear. Maybe some community members made it, but why not? If you're a Cisco or you're an Ant or you're a uh, Arista or a Juniper of the world, it's in your best interest to hire some devs or take some of your devs and have them build some modules. You know your product best, so write some modules so you can go ahead and advertise. Tell your marketing people, hey, go ahead and start advertising that we are, you know, uh, compatible with Ansible, and. It, this is important because Ansible like, was really, um, we think of it usually as setting up servers, right? The, the idea that we could use it to configure networking devices is a little bit of an afterthought, not much. Um, but that is to say each, each product you're trying to connect to is going to have a unique set of modules. You just have to click one over again to the Ansible's docs pages, read about the network modules, read about the ones available to your um, uh, particular vendor, and you're going to work with those. So EOS banner, if we went and read about it, it would say things like um, authorize banner. Um, what are we trying to change? Like, are you trying to change a <clears throat> login banner, are you trying to change a message of the day banner, right? We're trying to change our login banner. The text, what do you want it to say? Well, we want it to say, congrats, you've changed a banner. Neat. It'll say you've set a banner using the Ansible EOS module. Uh, state present, we want that banner to be there. We don't want it removed, we want it there. Authorize off the top of my head, I'm thinking, um, I should click over the docs page and read it. I'm going to say it's probably um, something uh, um, to do with, with privilege elevation. Uh, but whenever you're unsure about how one of these works, here is the documentation page. It's pretty easy to understand here. We would just look for your authorize. And our choices are either no or yes. And, yep, it's been deprecated anyway, so it does have to do with um, connection. Totally not important. We can leave it there. It won't hurt a thing. Let's go ahead. We have our, we've tried getting to our switches. We can. We have our playbook we've reviewed. I think we understand everything inside of it, or at least most of it. Um, we have our host file described. All we got to do is run it now. So let's Ansible playbook. We then throw the inventory flag and just say it's called hosts is where the, uh, our, our inventory is described. And we could call that file anything though. And then the playbook, which in this case is net01.yml. So we don't see a gathering facts phase because we set that to false. That's not going to run. Uh, we do see a couple of changes got made. So let's see, did changes actually get made? If I SSH in as admin at 172.16.2.10. Okay, congrats, you set a banner using the Ansible EOS module. That's what we expected to happen. Let's try going to 20, our other switch. Okay, switch two got configured as well. That's pretty cool. Um, the last thing we might want to do here is edit our playbook and just demonstrate the power of Ansible here. Um, we can throw one, make one parameter change. We're going to change one argument here on the state parameter to absent. Same playbook, one little tweak, and if I run my playbook again, even same command to run the playbook, we're going to see Ansible makes a change again. In this case, it's removing the banner from those switches. And if I SSH over there. All right, I'm just getting asked for a password. There's no prompting with a cool login banner. And we'll do the last one here as well. All right. 
but I can still get in. There's switch one. So very cool. That is admittedly just scratching the surface of um, actually you know, using Ansible to uh, begin to manipulate your network infrastructure, but we certainly made some changes to our network infrastructure there. Uh, if you like what you saw, again, subscribe to your video. Even bet, or better yet, click on over to our website and uh, go ahead and see what sort of schedule we have for some online classes. Or send us a message and tell us uh, you're interested in hopping into an Ansible training class. I hope to see you in the next Alt3 uh, research training event.